Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Prime Fernando Torres car to review today. So we're taking a look at a car that is six foot one, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills with a four star weak foot. This card like he holds a lot of sentimental value towards me because he's a big reason why I like Liverpool so much. It's him and Steven Gerrard. So, um, you know, you know the vibes when it comes to sentimental FC, but I do want to see what he's going to be like in game. So he does have the finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait, which is hugely important for these cards to be really good strikers. Um, for his pace, he's got 95 acceleration with 91 sprint speed, which is good for base card stats. But we are going to be slapping the engine chemistry style on him because of his dribbling stats, and we'll be getting into that, right? But giving him that extra pace... Uh, for 99 acceleration and 96 sprint speed, I think it's going to be very ideal. Uh, his shooting is at 94 attacking positioning, 95 finishing, 87 for shot power, while having 85 volleys at 90 composure. So I think 87 shot power is a pretty good minimum, right? Would it be crazy if he has like a 90? You know, it would probably be a little bit crazy, but... It is what it is, right? Shot power 87 is pretty decent, obviously, with 95 finishing and 94 attacking positioning. Really, really good. Uh, his base card stats for passing, you know, you shouldn't expect to use this card anywhere but the striker position, but he still has great short passing as well. Giving him the engine chemistry style will definitely help that out as well uh, to make the card as consistent as possible in those areas if your other attackers are making oncoming runs or incoming runs in certain areas. Uh, his dribbling. So his dribbling is something that we have to try out in game uh, because we do have to improve certain areas of the card or else he's not going to feel as responsive. So his agility at 88 and 83 for balance isn't bad because if we give him the engine chemistry style, he'll be at 93 agility with 93 balance, 99 dribbling at 95 reaction. So the reactions being at a 95 is hugely hugely important to compensate for his six foot one height and maybe stocky bu uh, build type in game or bot body type excuse me um he's got 85 jumping with 84 heading accuracy so you know he might score across and from here from here and there you know who knows he's got 86 stamina with 78 strength so 78 strength with a pretty decent body type is really nice 86 stamina to come back on the fence also very nice as well so i mean the card looks great um we're gonna see what he's like in game obviously we're using him with samuel Eto up top uh i have used him in a few games already and i'll tell you guys that i've been really enjoying this card i don't think he's full meta criteria but he's still pretty good man i love the way that this card moves and obviously it's nice when a card is good in the game and then he also carries that sentimental value right so it is one of those cards where both of them is like both of those things are the case with this card for sure but we're gonna see uh, obviously how he performs in game because when i was reviewing the card i did score some goals with him for the other cards um so I just want to see what he actually does specifically. That's the best way to review the cards, to look at them individually, right? Like, without looking at him individually, he was great. But I want to see what he does when I'm actually looking at him. So we'll use him in a 3-5-2 up top in the striker position on the left side. Uh, I'll actually switch him because I was using him so much on the left side. And we'll be using him on balance instructions there. For the 4-3-3, we'll play him in the... You guys could see I was using him in the center mid position. We're going to talk about that after. We'll use him in the striker position with Juan Felix playing off to the side and Cristiano Ronaldo playing to the side as well. Uh, I'm going to put Cristiano Ronaldo in the middle. Yeah, put Samuel Leto on the side there. Cool. Yeah, the instructions are just, are just going to be balanced. We're not going to we're not going to touch it at all. So let's get into a game and see how he plays. Oh, good shielding right there, actually. A little strafe dribble. Touch again. First time strike. Um, Did Handanovic just save the ball like that? Oh my god, and I just hit the post. I think Fred was offside. Yo, Fernando Torres just hit that really nicely. The only thing that I would say about Fernando Torres' card, ladies and gentlemen, is that his base characteristics for dribbling is still going to be noticeable regardless of whether or not you give him the engine chemistry style. But does the engine chemistry style help his dribbling? It definitely does, for sure. Oh, his finesse shots are really nice, too. Coming off of a really poor dribble, and he still hits it really nicely, too. Ooh, these slide touches, man. <laughs> oh, the gameplay's so good. I don't even know. I don't even know what happened there. I couldn't tell you guys. 
Ooh, hit him with that dummy. Ball roll finesse. I missed that with Fernando Torres. How? How does EA allow me to miss that with him? A finesse shot? That's why finesse shots are really inconsistent, by the way. But he has the traits, and he's coming off of a ball roll, and he still misses that? I don't know about that one, EA. Touch, touch, touch. Uh, yeah, it's just the dribbling, man. The dribbling is a little bit off. In regards to that, like, super responsive play to kind of, like, get into certain spaces quickly, that's the only thing that's going to be really rough with this card. But his dribbling is still compensated well for his base characteristics. There we go. Oh, and he... I think he should hit that better too, man. Stuff like that is where it, it kind of makes you think, hey, maybe I have to give him the shooting boost and stuff. See, his dribbling is not bad. The other characteristics compensate well for it. You just kind of have to time it a little bit differently, you know? Oh, man. You know what's funny is that I actually spammed the uh, bridge dribble right there and it didn't register. The thing that Torres does have, man, is really, really good attacking AI. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not attacking AI that I have to familiarize myself with like with Samuel Eto, I had to kind of like get used to it a little bit but with Torres he does all the base stuff that he needs to do quickly which is great yeah he, he responds really well to my left stick dribbling man and that's a, a hugely hugely important thing Again, it's not it's not attacking out to familiar familiarize yourself with. Um, you guys will see highlights for a lot of the goals that I actually scored with him. Um, but I've used him a lot already for more than one game. And you know, like I said, guys, when it comes to the reviews, a lot of the times I just don't need more than one game. Like it's just a, a character's base characteristics they they show up really obviously. First time strike. Oh my! Oh, it just disappeared. Can you score that? Score that? Oh, didn't even register the first time strike. Cool, cool. <laughs> we'll still score that though. I think he's gonna dip out of that one this time. See the pass right here. Oh, really well weighted there. Get that cross off. Score? Nice. Fernando Torres with the goal right there. Let's get it, baby. That's why using the 3-5-2 is nice. You know, when you have that wing play and you have a card like Bernardo Silva that can dribble quickly into those areas and make those passes, it's nice, man. Yeah, it's that fast left stick dribbling that's, like, so nice to have with Bernardo. Boom. Boom. There we go with Fernando Torres again. Beautiful stuff, man. Attacking AI was really good there too. But that's what I'm saying though. Like cards like this in the cam position, when it comes to like Messi and Bernardo Silva, that fast dribbling is what allows you to open up the space for yourself really nicely. Oh, Fernando Torres with the finish. Let's get it, baby. Beautiful stuff. Nicely done, Torres. A little, little scoring opportunity right there, coming off of the skill move. All right, guys. So final verdict on the Fernando Torres Prime card is that uh, at least this card definitely feels better than whatever these things were. These things were very, very generic, right? But this card actually feels pretty good. Very expensive, but for sentimental value and for how he performs in game, it's pretty good. Is he a full meta card? No, he's not a full meta card. So with this card, an engine chemistry style definitely makes the most sense to give him that extra pace boost, dribbling boost, as well as the passing boost. Um, the thing that is very important for this card is 
is the fact that they gave him both of the important traits to make him a good striker in this game because his striking ability is great and his attacking AI is great. The dribbling you have to compensate for yourself in certain situations, but it's not terrible by any means because you give him the engine chemistry style, right? So it's definitely a very fun card to use for me. The sentimental FC value of it is great. Um, I definitely don't think he's a full meta card. Like Samueletto is really good. Samueletto is close to full meta, but doesn't hit it just yet, but it's a very good card, right? Um, with Torres, it's just the base characteristic of shot power a little bit, right? And also the dribbling stats that kind of throws me off with this card a little bit in regards to that. But uh, for the fun concept, engine chemistry style, if you get this card as a prime SPC or something, I feel like you guys will really enjoy it for what it is. But the dribbling you will 100% notice in game in regards to responsiveness because of how the game kind of works nowadays uh with uh left stick dribbling so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the review i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys